Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another Powercraft episode. In this um, episode, I'm going to be showing you an update that has been um, released on Powercraft. We have now the net portion of the mod and the teleporter portion of the mod. Um, the net has to deal with um, radio and wireless things that you really don't have to interact with in order them to work. And the teleporter portion of the mod only has one um, item to it, and it's basically like teleporters. I don't know how to explain it besides their teleporter. You should probably get that yourself. But uh, let's just go ahead and jump in here. This first item that's part of the part of net is called the item detector, and if you right click it, you can do a you can set its detecting distance. It goes up to 32 blocks, but I'm going to put it on three so I can demonstrate this. This gold perimeter is the area in which, if an item falls on this gold block, the um, item detector will emit redstone. So if I take this diamond and put it on this gold block, it'll say, you know, there's a item in this certain in the three by three area, because this is one, two, three blocks away, one, two, three, it's just three all the way around, um, so it can detect it. But if it's outside, say here, just before the gold blocks, it won't detect it. And obviously, if it's inside, it'll detect it too. Um, the next one is the mob detector works the same way distance it's on three this is the perimeter it gets but I mean it's, it's a full it's a full circle or square but I'm just showing you half of it basically so if I spawn a pig right here it won't be detected but once I knock him in he'll make it all get detected and oh, that was great the pig just ran over okay and the last one is called the player detector. Now if I go inside this ring, it'll put off redstone and whatever. So that's the player detector. Next on the list, we have our transmitter. Correction, they're called redstone radio transmitter. And our redstone radio uh, receiver. But I just put transmitter and receiver there for short. So basically all it is is redstone signal goes into our transmitter and it comes out of our receiver. Now, say you have lots of connections that need to be made or you need one input to go to multiple outputs, you can use the activation crystal. With the activation crystal, say um, we need to change this to... some weird there we go we'll just change it to that or we'll just here we'll do something like this like say we're just typing a bunch of random characters and we can't type it'll take a forever to type it in again so all we would need to do is say we need we need tons of these right we like it'd be a pain in the butt to do them all so all you do is right click um right click your transmitter and go to each receiver and it'll put that channel on them which is really nice so you don't have to keep retyping everything after I found that out the hard way I retyped everything first and then figured out that I could use this so that kind of stinks so that's it for that also I guess in the little part here there are remotes and what you can do is you can tie it with a channel so you just right click when you right click either of these and what happens is it'll say the portable transmitter transmitter was connected to blah blah blah. And what we can do is if I turn this off, I can when I when I right click, it's like pushing a button. And when I let go, it's so there really is no animation for me doing this. But when I right click, it turns on. And when I don't, obviously it'll it'll release. And I can hold it down. So that's pretty cool. But for some reason you get this like you're shifting, I don't know why. But you do. I guess it's like um like holding your sword. Um so I'll put that away. Oh, it even tells you what it belongs to. 
ready remote channel and tells you the channel. So that's uh, that's pretty nifty. Uh, yeah, you can make these show their little labels above the top or just not. You can also make them really tiny, which I don't know. I guess this just makes it stick out less. But it still works the same way. If you do this, it'll come out. So that's just a different way of looking at them. Um, and if you're worried about those things popping up on the map, they get covered up by blocks. So you can't see them. Like, you don't want to see, like, tons of lettering everywhere. No, it all just gets covered up. Next, this is the teleporter portion of the mod. Um, this is the one block it's got. It's called a teleporter, basically. And it's basically a teleporter. Um, you can set them up. I'll show you how to set them here. But if I just throw this diamond block or diamond in there, it will keep putting it back and forth. This um, this teleporter is set up to take it back to this teleporter. And you can also do players as well. I have sticky boots on right now, so I won't be teleported. But I can go through that one. Will take me here, and now all oh, the piggy got stuck. And I can hold back to go do stuff really fast okay so I'm gonna take all this junk out so I can show you go away pig so I can go show you so I can show you some more stuff with this so if you right click it you can name it and you can look you can like search for a target but they'll usually just be sitting here so I named this one derp and it's connected to derp one and this one's called derp one and it's connected to derp so if I go into this, it'll take me to derp. If I go into derp one, it'll take me to derp. If I go into derp, it'll take me to derp one. Um, in the properties, you can um, choose whether animals, monsters, items, or players can go through these. You can also do a sneak trigger. This is for players only. When a player is crouching and he walks into it, he will be teleported. But if he... Oh, that one's not set on sneak trigger. There. So if I just walk into this, it won't do anything until I sneak trigger. Or until I sneak or crouch, if you will. And it'll uh, teleport me through. So let's just take sneak, tr sneak trigger off and do player choose. And do that over here. Now, when I go through derp, it'll ask me which, which other teleport I want to go to. And I want to go to derp one, not these two. I got I got some stuff set up over there, so um, I'm just gonna go derp one and the same thing. If you go into derp one, it'll ask you where you want to go, and you can just go to derp, um, and you can cancel. So and that's um, it. It's got a you can um, it's got this sound enable, which I think it just enables like the portal sounds of you know the scary stuff. Um, oh, by the way. When you're in these menus, don't leave by hitting your inventory button. Leave by hitting OK. Because say if I do player choose and take it off and hit E and go back, it doesn't save it. So you want to hit OK. Um, if you're wondering where the, what these are, this is the way the portal is facing when you come out. Or what you will be facing when you come out. So if this faces north, that means when I come out, I'll be facing towards the um, gold blocks. If I come out and I go to dirt. Oh. Uh, out here. Let me see. Wait a minute. Dirt. Okay. So what's happening is when I want to go in there, it spawns me inside of the gold block and pushes me back out, and, I, and then I go through here. So that's not uh, very good. Oh, um, let's face this one south. Then face the south goes this way, and if I go through, go to dirt. And there we go. And it faces me south. So um, that's it for... Ooh. That was... That's weird. Oh, that pig. He's just... He's just glitching through over there. Look at him. Oh, he stopped. Get back in the ground. If you're wondering what this giant structure over here is, this is my um, new factory I've been working on. Um, and there will be a separate video for that. It's got lots of stuff I need to cover, so 
Uh, yeah, that's it for this. I'll see you guys next time.